Hey guys, Fuzzy here. This video is sponsored by Age of Water. Boats and waters bring us together, especially on this channel. But let me introduce you to a different horizon. Boats and water with a twist. You have seen me exploring this world on my Twitch stream, charting my course and making decisions, some of which could have been better. In this video, I will show you the gameplay and features of this world. But before we proceed, I know what you all pirates will ask. Does it have PvP? Yes, it does. But we will get to that later. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today, we're delving into the world of Age of Water, an open world online adventure game now available on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox. In Age of Water, you're a player and a captain navigating a post apocalyptic Earth in a vast ocean. Whether alone or with friends, you'll travel endless waves, exploring sunken cities and mysterious locations. The open world design allows you to choose your path, making each playthrough unique. The ocean is overflowing with life and secrets waiting to be discovered, from ancient ruins to uncharted territories. You'll uncover hidden dangers, valuable treasures and powerful artifacts from the old world. The game offers many paths, whether you want to be a trader, smuggler, bounty hunter, or pirate, or more. In our world, all paths are open for a newcomer. Pick the one that suits you. See for yourself. If you like risk and nighttime raids, befriend a courier gang and become a smuggler. Illegal tea and coffee are in high and stable demand. If law and order is your motto, join the ranks of the rangers and intercept smuggling vessels. You'll earn glory in the respects of honest citizens. If the word law makes you sick, then become a pirate and rob rich caravans. It's quick money, but also constant risk. Headhunters will be on your tail at all times. I wonder which one I'm gonna cho choose. If a black flag is not to your liking, make money on contracts to destroy pirate ships. Traders are ready to handsomely reward anyone who makes their routes any safer. The most meticulous and stubborn can become underwater explorers. Find deposits of valuable resources on the ocean floor before others and, well, get rich. This is the path of a true explorer. If you're good with numbers and capable of thinking a few moves ahead, you cannot venture out to sea at all. Play the stock market and buy and sell stuff others have extracted. Less romance, but more money. The choice is yours. Each path provides distinct gameplay experiences and rewards, encouraging you to explore different roles. As a trader, you'll navigate trade routes and negotiate deals. As a smuggler, you'll dodge patrols and deliver illicit goods. Bounty hunters drag down notorious criminals, while pirates live for the thrill of plunder. One of my favorite parts was building and enhancing my own ship. You can unlock new and larger models and customize each with hundreds of weapons, armor and equipment to suit your needs. Ah, you're on time. I've just finished working on your boat. The seven-foot shipyard is at your service. Captain, don't forget to mount Ooh. the weapons and other equipment on the deck of the new boat. Ooh. That Captain, looks nice. I can see the balloon not far off. Yeah, okay, fine. Can I mm, do the weapons first? Because, you know... If the jet ski dudes come, I don't want that. What is this? Gasoline motor pump? That's a nice, that's a nice boat. Yeah, we need to put the dredge in the back. Ship pump, required to pump water out. My tiny boat looked like a raft next to what I had seen on other players. Whether you prioritize speed, cargo capacity or firepower, Age of Water has you covered. The more significant the ship, the more you can add but keep the balance right and modify depending on your playstyle. Ship customization is deep and strategic, allowing you to tailor your vessel for specific tasks. You can outfit your ship with advanced radar systems for exploration or heavy artillery for combat. Experimenting with different configurations is part of the fun. You can set up your own base of operations. You can construct factories to produce weapons, hulls and supplies instead of constantly buying stuff from NPCs. Your base will serve as a secure hub for organizing the production of new ships and equipment. It's like your hideout that can make you stronger while protecting it from invaders. Base building adds another layer of strategy, as you'll need to manage resources, defend against attacks and expand your facilities. The gameplay is intense and unpredictable, from destroying enemy ships to fending off fish people on jet skis. Mythical creatures that inhabit this watery world keep you on the edge. Stop, Captain. It's the witch's boil. If we don't stop, the ink will burn through half the hall. Stop, stop. Whew. The 
boil is gone, so we can move on. Uh, I recommend that you check the state of the hall. These encounters require quick reflexes and strategic planning, as you never know what you might face next, whether battling against sea monsters or outsmarting rival captains. Each confrontation tests your skills and tactics. Speaking of battles, I thought I was ready for anything after sinking these punies. I just pissed off someone! It looks like something that has a lot of things. I'm gonna take it, that's what pirates do! Did it work? My ship was unqualified to sink this courier, so even the PvE part is not a walk in the park, only bite what you can chew. The game's difficulty scales with your progress, ensuring that even experienced players will find challenges that push their limits. PvE encounters differ, from minor skirmishes to large-scale battles, each requiring different strategies to overcome. Exploring the remnants of an expired era beneath the waves was another highlight. Using the dredge and the solar scanner, you can find valuable resources like metals and waste, hidden treasures, and powerful artifacts from the old world, some of which are required for quests. This exploration aspect is richly rewarding as you piece together the history of the world and uncover items that enhance your abilities. It's easy enough as you can see. Here, have my old echo sounder. When it's installed, you'll see dots on the sounder screen. Run the dredge when you're right above one of them. Captain, open the menu and select cargo hold to open your inventory. Select the echo sounder and press the on button. Oh, activate by pressing U. I'm scanning the seabed now. Okay, then what? Oh, do I need to use the dredge? P. Rags, rags, five. Unless the blinker on, right? Oh, nice. So you see that yellow circle in the bottom right? So you press U, you activate the floor sensor. This water is disgusting. And then you go sail over there's a plane crash that looks like an airplane these blue dots no he's taking it goblin so please and pee each dive into the depths is a blend of excitement and danger as you balance the risk of discovery with the potential for great rewards Embarking on diverse quests and missions was a lot of fun. You'll engage with inhabitants of this new world, exploring settlements on converted oil rigs, skyscraper rooftops, and makeshift airships. Discover their stories, help them, and earn valuable rewards to aid you on your journey with upgrading and crafting. The quests are well written and immersive, providing insights into the lives and struggles of the characters you meet. And the characters are fully voiced. Each mission offers unique challenges and rewards, encouraging you to explore every corner of the game world. Ah, to what do I owe your visit, young man? Of course. Where else would a thinking individual live? Although, uh, it's not a barrel, it's a cistern tank. My name is Diogenes. Not shark gangs, but sharkies gangs. The tribe's name is Sharky. I've never quarreled with them. By the way, there's some real beauties among the sharkies women. I read. Books are rare these days. And there's nothing more useful and interesting in the world. I buy them whenever I can find them. Take note, you'll be able to make money too. <sighs> You're by no means a stupid fellow, Captain. Have you brought me a book, by any chance? What's this I see? Is that Shia the Beautiful with you? <gasps> Welcome to my modest quarters then. I met some colorful characters that I could hire to crew my ship. Yes, you can recruit random NPCs from around the world for your crew each with different stats. These crew members are essential for efficient ship operations, as they bring various skills and abilities that enhance your performance. Choosing the right crew for your ship and mission can distinguish between success and failure. Yes, there was one in here looking for work. He ran off somewhere but should be back any minute. What do you want, newbie? Are you talking to me? 
Have you lost your mind? Who the hell are you to hire me? And that's it? You think you can get away with just an apology? <laughs> I'll have to teach you a lesson. You... My boat, the dead scuttlefish, is riding at anchor to the north of the bar. I'll wait for you there. Quite a hothead you he are. He wants to PvP. You only just came and already got into a fight with the cuttlefish captain. Are you deathless or just fearless? You can assign them tasks such as manning weapons, controlling excavators, repairing damage and recycling resources. After all this, I'm done with it. Let me join your crew, Captain. You won't regret it! As your crew gains experience, you can specialize their roles even further through an in-depth skill system for every crew member. This progression system allows for a high degree of customization, enabling you to develop a crew that perfectly complements your playstyle. Training and upgrading your crew member is as important as upgrading your ship. Fighting is not only clicking and blasting bullets, it's strategic where you hit, like focusing on specific areas to disable guns and other spots of the ship. Another exciting aspect was visiting trading posts to find profitable commodities and charting a course through risky waters. All that stuff is costly, you can build a reputation as a reliable trader or a cunning smuggler, always looking for the best deals. Trading is a dynamic activity that navigates dangerous routes to maximize profits, and if you're into PvP you can engage with other players, it is optional, so you can opt in as you see fit in designated areas and special events. PvP offers a thrilling challenge as you test your skills against other players in high stakes encounters, making PvP an exciting and integral part of the game. So whether you want to go fish and chill, trade or destroy other players, it's your boat, ocean and rules. The game's versatility ensures that there's something for every type of player, whether you prefer relaxing, exploration, strategic trading or intense combat. Check out Age of Water by clicking the link in the pinned comment or the description of this video. Fuzzy here, happy sailing!